I'd like to share a little story of self-sacrifice with you. It's entitled The Little Rose of Sharon, written by Nan Curley. Spring came to the newly made world, and every day a certain little rose grew taller and more beautiful. Surely the creator will be proud of me, she hoped, as the color deepened in her petals. The little rose watched as the hills and valley of Sharon came to life. Daffodils grew on the hillside. Almond trees bloomed full and white and the sweet smell of myrtle blossoms filled the air. As the large green leaves on the fig tree above her danced gently in the breeze, the little rose looked up and saw a dove sitting on a nest made of twigs and grass. Inside the nest was a tiny white egg. While the mother dove flew over the hillside looking for seeds and nuts, The father dove sat on the egg and made soft, cooing sounds. Someday, very soon, thought the little rose, the baby dove will hatch out of its egg. Early one morning, as the sun peeked over the eastern sky, the little rose saw the creator. He was walking through the cool grass, looking at all his trees and flowers. Sometimes he would stop for a moment and listen to a bird song or sit in the shade of an olive tree and watch the sheep grazing on distant hills. The little rose she stood straight and tall and opened her petals as far as she could, for she hoped the creator would notice her as he walked by. Soon he came walking toward her. Oh, surely the creator will be pleased with my beautiful petals, she thought happily. Then the creator stood before her, and for a long time he looked down at her deep red petals and smiled. Before he turned to go, He bent down and breathed her sweet smell. Oh, the little rose felt her heart would burst with joy. He noticed me, she thought, and he smiled at me. Truly, he must think I am beautiful. Later that evening, as she drifted off to sleep, the little rose was still remembering the smile of the Creator. Oh, during the night, a storm rolled in from the Mediterranean Sea. The wind howled through the trees, and the rain beat down on the scrubs and the flowers. The little rose bent and swayed in the storm. She was frightened of losing her petals. As the rain beat against her, she held on to her petals with all her strength. Finally, finally the storm ended, and when morning light filled the sky, the little rose was proud to see that none of her petals had fallen to the ground. But when she looked down, she saw a white shape on the ground below her. It was the tiny dove's egg nestled deeply in the grass. Oh, it must have fallen out of the nest during the night, The storm, she thought. Oh, surely the mother and father dove will find it. She wished she could call out to them and tell them where the egg was lying. But she could only watch as the doves flew back and forth looking for the egg and making sad and mournful sounds. All day the doves searched for the tiny egg but they never saw it in the grass beneath the rose. Well, when the sky began to darken, the doves flew back to the branches of the fig tree. If the egg is not kept warm, 
the baby dove inside it will die, thought the little rose as the cool evening breeze began to blow. She was sad to think that the baby dove might never break out of its shell and learn to fly. If only I could keep it warm. As the moon slowly rose in the sky, covering the earth with a silver light, the little rose thought the only way she could keep the egg warm through the chilly night. One by one, she dropped her petals and covered the tiny white dove's egg. When the last one fell and the rose petal blanket was complete, the little rose fell asleep to the mournful cooing of the doves. Early the next morning, the little rose was awakened by tiny chirping sounds. Oh, what could it be, she wondered. And then she noticed the smallest movement beneath the fallen petals. Suddenly, a tiny dove's beak poked out from beneath the rose petal blanket. The baby dove is alive, she thought, with joy as the chirping grew louder. The mother and father heard the baby dove and flew down from the fig tree. The little rose watched as they lifted their baby from the rose petals and carried it back to their nest. Later that morning, as the little rose was listening to the gentle cooing of the doves, she saw the creator walking on the hillsides. Oh, dear, she thought. I hope he doesn't notice me, for without my petals, I am no longer beautiful. The little rose was so ashamed, she looked down. But when the creator stood before her, he gently reached out and touched her stem. You have given all you had to save the life of the baby dove, said the creator. The little rose felt warm inside at the sound of his voice. One day, when my son lives on this earth, he too will give everything he has. The little rose looked up into the gentle eyes of the creator. Because of the love you have shown for the baby dove, I will call my son the Rose of Sharon, for he too will give everything he has and show the world my love. (laughs) 